Hello guys, uh, do you want to learn how to implement this beautiful morphing animation from plus to minus and reverse? Well, stay tuned because I have created step-by-step -step guide for you. Also, all the resources I use in this video are uploaded on GitHub, so the link will be located down in the description for you. Hello guys and welcome back to my new video. In this video, as you saw in that preview, we are going to create a beautiful animation, morphing animation, and we are going to implement it in uh, Android Studio. So I have created two SVG files in Adobe XD, so I'm going to import uh, those here, plus and minus, as you can see. So uh, as you can see, when we select minus, we see darker stroke on our element. And uh, now uh, we can change the names of our uh, files here, minus and plus. So first we're going to create uh, uh, animation from, uh, from uh, minus to plus. So we're going to change the name and the duration for our uh, animation. So now we are going to copy uh, plus uh, path data and we are going to paste that on our minus uh, on our minus uh, animation so click path data and uh, we're going to change this to value to our plus uh, path data and time will be uh, 700 uh, milliseconds like that okay and now we're going to animate our uh, our icons so as you can see those two uh, shapes aren't compatible because uh, the one has 4 and the other has 12 uh, dots. So we're going to click auto fix here and it will add automatically uh, 8 more dots uh, on our first minus shape. So you can play a little bit uh, with those uh, red dots. Uh, it will uh, change your animation based on those uh, dots location. So I have, I have set up like that. Okay. It should look something like that and now um, we're going to create a rotation animation but uh, in order that to work we need to create uh, a new group layer so just click here and uh, drag and drop uh, minus uh, minus layer inside the group and now uh, select group and click rotation here and we're going to change two value to uh, 180 uh, and start time to zero okay now as you can see our an animation escaped uh, on the left so uh, we need to select our group and uh, change pivot uh, X and pivot Y in order to center this animation as you can see uh, 12 won't work let's try 40 okay just a little bit we need to increase it uh, 43 for example Okay, let's try and uh, I think it works fine now. Okay, let's try in slow motion. Alright, so now I'm going to change uh, path data uh, start time to 300. So the rotation will start first. Uh, and I'll set uh, this interpolator for the rotation. Under, uh, interpolator is called Anticipate uh, Overshot. Alright, it looks very nice like this. Okay, now that we have created that, uh, select the path data and uh, I think uh, we're good now. Let's try it again. It looks very nice. So we're going to export our uh, animation to animated vector drawable XML file. Uh, just export it and uh, we're going to create another animation which will be morphing from plus to minus this time. Because uh, we need two animations. So now let's create a new project here. I'm going to import the same SVG files here. Uh, like that. Okay. We're going to change duration to 700 and the name will be this time uh, plus to minus. Alright. Now I'm going to select the minus uh, SVG here and I'm going to copy its uh, path data to our plus SVG. So I'm going to remove uh, minus here. 
and now I'm going to leave the plus on only a plus SVG file here and now uh, let's uh, morph this uh, morph okay path data and let's change two value to our minus path data uh, end time will be 700 start time 300 milliseconds so we're going to create a new group again as well and uh, drag and drop uh, our SVG there so rotation will be this time minus one, uh, 180 and uh, end time will be 700 interpolator uh, anticipated overshot okay we need to set a pivot to x and y to 43 and now we have our animation let's try it in slow motion all right oh yeah uh, we need to create um, uh, our exact uh, motion uh, morphing animation so we need to select our path data on our timeline okay this red and click here and now let's click auto fix like we did before in our first animation it will automatically add uh, eight points uh, so it can be compatible with our plus svg file and we're going to move the same way uh, as we did in the first time and now there we go we have our animation it, it looks very beautiful it's morphing uh, smoothly as I uh, anticipated okay so now uh, I think we can uh, export this uh, second animation uh, as well uh, everything is in place okay now let's export to animated vector drawable XML file as well okay now that we have exported those two files uh, we can start uh, uh, by creating project in Android Studio I have already created the project and uh, I have uh, created just one uh, image view in our main activity uh, image view is centered on the screen like that so we need to switch from Android uh, to project view in order to uh, to paste uh, our uh, our two animation files XML files in our drawable directory here so uh, we need to drag and drop those two files which I uh, previously exported from uh, shapeshifter we're going to drag and drop here so I just wanted to, to, to tell you that um, if you don't know what the shapeshifter is or uh, you're unfamiliar with that uh, you should watch my previous video uh, to find out uh, more information about uh, all that I will link the I'll put the link down in the description as well okay so this drag and drop uh, doesn't work uh, uh, sometimes I don't know why so I'll just uh, copy those files and uh, paste them here in the folder in our drawable folder just click OK and there we go we have uh, we, we got uh, we got those two files uh, uh, auto generated uh, by shapeshifter as you can see this is a big code so we got an error here we need to suppress with uh, tools target API here and here as well it requires 21 API level so it's not a big deal we just uh, can use uh, Android Studio help to generate the code and we are going to do the same for our uh, other uh, for our other uh, XML animation okay just uh, let's repeat the step one more time suppress with target API all right and the next thing we need to do we need to open a gradle build uh, module application uh, file and we need to add one line of code uh, in order uh, our animation to work uh, like charm so uh, we need to paste uh, this code here just below uh, it's uh, called vector drawables dot use suppressed library support library equals to true you need to uh, to write down that because without that uh, it might not work okay so now in our main activity uh, we're going to start with the code so first thing we are going to uh, create the image view object like that and uh, animated the uh, vector drawable compet we'll name it uh, avd and we're going to create the animated uh, vector drawable so we have uh, compet and uh, 
non compact this will be AVD2 and we're going to create a simple integer uh, which we'll call switch number it will be uh, 0 you'll see why I have created this I will explain you uh, later in the video so now I'm going to find the ID of our image view okay and uh, now I'm going to create a one-click listener for our image so whenever we click our uh, image view it will start the animation and that's why I have implemented this uh, switch number integer you'll see uh, how will how I will create this so uh, we'll say if switch number is equals to zero uh, that means if uh, we have uh, opened our application for the first time and else block so now in if block if in first if block we're going to create uh, to say hmm, let's say what should we do first um, we'll use uh, image view uh, set image drawable method and we're going to locate our uh, our first uh, animation file which is uh, minus the plus uh, we're going to get drawable uh, oh sorry our drawable dot plus to minus or minus to plus the first will be minus to plus but you can do reverse it doesn't matter at this time so next we're going to create drawable object and we're going to use uh, image view uh, get drawable uh, method okay uh, next we, uh, we're going to create a new if block inside this first if block so we'll say if drawable instance of uh, animated vector drawable compet is true if that's true then we are going to uh, use avd or our uh, animated vector drawable compet and we are going to pass this uh, animated vector drawable compet and uh, it will be equals to drawable so now we are going to use the same object animated vector drawable to start the animation it will start our animation uh, from minus to plus and uh, on the bottom of this uh, we are going to uh, say else if drawable instance of animated vector drawable but without compet because uh, maybe uh, you run this application on older devices so we need uh, both uh, compet and uh, non compet uh, class here just in case uh, so uh, now I'm going to use the second uh, animated vector drawable uh, object avd2 and uh, I'll set it to drawable as well and of course I'm going to start uh, AVD2 object as well so it will start animation in either case and uh, in our uh, main uh, okay I'll add this uh, target API lollipop okay and uh, in our else ma main else block we're going to copy this same code but first uh, we need to say on the, on the bottom of this code switch number plus plus so uh, the first block will increase uh, the number to uh, by one and now I'm going, I'm going to copy this uh, whole code in else block but this time uh, I'll say switch number uh, minus minus so what that uh, means is uh, when we first click our image view it will play our uh, minus to plus animation and it will increase the switch number to one and uh, then when we click again it will uh, uh, it will execute our second else block which is uh, the second animation uh, which is a reverse animation and now i'm going to show you uh, how it works it's pretty convenient the method to to play this morphing animation back and forth you will see now okay and uh, just a second let's run our emulator oh i forgot to to change the the image view uh, resource here so let me check here and uh, i'll change this icon launcher to drawable animation which is minus the plus 
or plus to minus plus to minus okay so now there we go let's run our app again okay and there we go click again and we got the second uh, animation click again we got the first animation click again we got the second animation and that's pretty smooth animation guys uh, morphing is is um, present in uh, most of modern applications so uh, i hope you enjoyed watching this video please uh, like this video if you find it helpful and of course subscribe to my channel if you haven't already because uh, there are uh, more great contents uh, waiting for you see you in the next video